Glad you joined us once again at, for another day in the walk in wisdom. And today we get to find out a little bit more descriptive of what this wisdom invitation is all about. And I put that purposely, the wisdom, wisdom invitation. invitation. Uh, because in the last couple of videos, we've been talking about adultery and adulteress and the invitation uh, that that lady, uh, that woman, is uh, provocatively and seductively uh, drawing you close. Uh, well, the, the lady of wisdom, or frankly wisdom in general, uh, using a feminine noun, is also uh, drawing and being able to invite into uh, the fold and the walk in wisdom. And so that's what we get to find here in chapters 8 and chapters 9. Some descriptive ways uh, that wisdom is inviting us into the walk because the wisdom walk is the gospel walk. The wisdom walk is the salvation walk. And it is far more valuable than anything here on earth. Uh, actually, you know, in, in Timothy, uh, it speaks to, actually in 2 Timothy, um, I have it right here, 2 Timothy 3.15, um, it talks about that uh, we are free and available to all, that wisdom is free and available to all, makes all who receive it wise unto salvation. Wise unto salvation. And as we walk in that wisdom, uh, obviously, in that second concept of Proverbs, once again, uh, we're going to be uh, disciplined. It's going to be a disciplined walk uh, that we're going to be able to understand what is wisdom and folly and then being able to walk in that road in that way. Uh, you're going to see that uh, it comes to the cro when it comes to a crossroads, uh, wisdom has, an, has a strong invitation, as does foolishness. Uh, but wisdom uh, is going to be seen as the righteous walk rather than the walk of selfishness and the, and the walk of sin. And so we get a little bit of more descriptive uh, nature here in chapter 8 of Proverbs. We're going to do the first 11 verses, uh, verses 1 through 11. And it is wisdom's invitation. And you're going to see that it is to all. And a lot of people uh, stumble upon that. What's that call to all? Uh, being able to say, why, why doesn't my cousin believe? Why doesn't my sister believe? Why doesn't uh, my friend believe? Why doesn't he? Why can't he have that wisdom of the gospel? And we have to understand it's still a mystery of uh, the invita invitation. Invitation is, is from God's calling, and His call is frankly for all uh, to receive the knowledge and to receive salvation through Jesus Christ. But there's a hand up by people. Uh, there's a, a possibility. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there is an invitation to all, but all do not receive. Meaning that there is a hand up that people can give, and they can put up their hand to me and say, I don't want that invitation. I'd rather walk in the ways of foolishness. Uh, but that is not wisdom's fault. That is not the gospel's fault. That is not God's fault. That is a sinful nature uh, being able to win the battle, if you would say, uh, being able to walk in the ways that it wants to and reject the gifts of the wisdom and understanding that only come through the Spirit of God. And so uh, the invitation is for all, as you're going to see here in chapter 8. Um, and it is far more valuable than anything that we can have in our life. And so let's read together 1 through 11 of chapter 8 in the Proverbs. Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights along the way, where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gates leading into the city, at the entrances, she cries aloud. To you, O men, I call out, I raise my voice to all mankind. You who are simple, gain prudence. You who are foolish, gain understanding. Listen, for I have worthy things to say. I open my lips to speak what is right. My mouth speaks what is true, for my lips detest wickedness. All the words of my mouth are just. None of them is crooked or perverse. And it, it's describing once again the polarity uh, between wisdom and folly, or frankly between uh, wisdom and the adulteress in our last uh, chapter. And so you get to see the distinction there. All the words of my mouth are just, none of them is crooked or perverse. Verse 9, to the discerning all of them are right. They are faultless to those who have knowledge. Choose my instruction instead of silver. Knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Wisdom is Christ. Wisdom is the gospel. 
And so being able to receive wisdom, to be able to walk in the gospel, to be able to be a follower of Jesus Christ is far more valuable than anything that we can attain here on earth. Once again, it's, it's said in this way, a relationship with our creator is far more important than a relationship with anything in amongst the creation. Because a relationship with our creator gains us wisdom. It receives that salvation. It, it walks in a way that is what he calls us to walk. And it is frankly a growing relationship day after day because he gives his mercies. He gives his gospel. He gives his continued love and mercy through Jesus Christ to us day after day. And as we grow in that love and mercy, it is incredible how we walk wanting to follow his statutes and will. Uh, because his statutes and will are the way of wisdom. And they are a blessing to us day in and day out. And so uh, my prayer for you today is being able to say, if you're in the crossroads of saying, which way do I go? Uh, walk in the ways of the Lord. Get into his word. Pray to him. Uh, because it is far more valuable to walk in his ways than the ways that we would want to understand or the ways of the world. And so that's my prayer for you this day. Have a blessed day as you walk in the wisdom of the Lord.